Okay, the last type of foot I'm gonna do is hooves. Horses, mules, goats, stuff like that. The thing about hooves is they are digitigrade, but to a different degree. While cats and stuff are on their toes, horses, horses are on their toenails. Yes, toenails. They're on their tippy toes. Were it not for cushioning inside of these hooves, they would be not able to walk. Now, horses have two different orientations for their hooves. The front ones are quite like humans. In which, at the wrist, We've got a joint at the wrist and a joint at the elbow and such before hitting the hands and finally fingernails. That's why if you ever see a horse rearing, they do this sort of thing. It's the same thing as if someone with a hand is doing that. While hind paws are quite like birds and how they how they move. They got the toenail. And they've got this weird back backward angled ankle. Goats are quite the same. The only difference is hoof type. Their horses have a split at the back and smooth on the front. That's how you can get horseshoes to look like they do. Goats. Have a split all the way around. The same can be said for deer. I tend to use this knowledge of hooves when I draw fawns or satyrs. Satyrs? Satyrs? 
can still look all upsetters. <clears throat> when a horse's leg is fully extended, all of their joints up to the elbow match up. For such large animals, they have very, very skinny legs. In comparison to body size. Though I suppose that is not true for things like Clydesdales. Or gypsy horses. Because those horses can get quite muscular. For the average thoroughbred though, their legs are quite skinny in comparison to body size. Well, I do hope that these tutorials helped. Tutorial, tutorial, tutorials. One of them helped at least a bit was my aim in this at least. I will be cleaning these up for future use and posting them on my Patreon and then eventually I will be posting them also on my DeviantArt. So if you would like these, they will be in a format that can be printed. Uh, follow me on my Patreon. It is also under Pookie15. My reward tiers start at five dollars a month, which at five dollars a month you will also get four videos, um, printable coloring pages, any work in progresses that I post, you will be able to talk with me directly. Um, and once I get enough people, I'm going to be starting Patreon-only live streams as well. So, support me on my Patreon, and we can get shit started. And have more tutorials like this on a more regular basis than once every three months. Have a lovely day!